Good morning. This is Judy from Artistic Artifacts in Alexandria, Virginia. Welcome to our Facebook Live Saturday morning, 9.30 Eastern Time. Um, we have um, on tap today mm -hmm. transfer artist paper and our dolls. Um, so we were part of the book launch that uh, when the new transfer artist paper book came out by Leslie Riley. Um, we are great fans of Leslie and her products that she's created, and so we were on the book launch. So during that time, uh, several of us, Sharon, Chris, and myself, created dolls using tap as the face and a pattern that Leslie provides in the book. And I'm sure that some of you won't <laughs> find it surprising, but I didn't read the directions. I just looked at the picture and cut the pattern out. So the way I put the dolls together was a little different than what Leslie did. So, um, you know, hey, that's the way it is. Be creative and create uh, rather than looking for perfection and being um, paralyzed. So that's, that's a theme I live with every day. So if I waited for perfection, I don't think anything would get done. Um, so that is, we're gonna talk about how I made, uh, how we made the the transfer artist paper um, inspired by that are dolls and then what we also have done and we announced it in our newsletter on Wednesday if you don't get our newsletter please sign up you can go to the website artisticartifacts.com comes out every Wednesday packed full of great information yes we need to sell you something so we can keep coming back and doing what we do to create our cre uh, creative minds community but we also, Sharon works hard at trying to make sure that there's uh, links and information there. So Wednesday, we announced that we are actually going to provide our six dolls to um, raise money for India. Now, <clears throat> part of what um, the dolls, each individual doll, you buy a ticket, so to speak, for $10, if you want five chances, you buy five tickets. And you can do this all online. Um, Sharon will provide a link for you in the uh, Facebook Live documentation. So then we will draw out of a hat, or maybe a box, or a hat box, and uh, we will tell, announce the winner of the doll. So 100% of these proceeds will go to India. Um, I don't know about you, but in the US, I'm feeling pretty safe. I've, uh, my staff has been fully vaccinated. We have many customers that have been fully vaccinated. So I think that we have, um, we have some sunshine coming, not just in the summer, but that, you know, I think that maybe the, we can work ourselves to a new normal, being safe, and that every person in the United States has access to the vaccine. At least that's what I believe. So um, I know there's many countries that are not like that. I have people, uh, suppliers in Indonesia that I buy product from they have no business because they relied on tourism. India, the people that I know in India are the same situation. They relied on tourism and um, that tour, we're obviously not traveling, definitely not to India right now because it's a little scary. And um, what I think happens is that as a whole, I think that this community, the creative fiber arts quilting community is very giving. But part of my hesitation was, how do I know the money gets to the people who need it? Well, the money we have, three, P, three organizations or three suppliers, so to speak, in India, and the money goes directly to buying rice, buying oxygen tanks, buying medicine. We know that because they send us pictures and they tell us. So that might help you know that we are getting it in 100% goes. Okay, that's my sales pitch for the moment. And I'm gonna show you the dolls at the end of this kind of demo, and then I'll talk about how each doll was made. So 
hang in there so that you can see them because they're really pretty they turned out pretty awesome and it was a it was a lot of fun to create them so leslie riley created this transfer artist paper book and there's um, several projects in there different kinds she talks about transfer artist paper going on leather on mica on glass and there's um, tips and tricks on how to make that happen it's definitely well worth it transfer artist paper comes in an 18 pack and a five pack and it says new formula that's important so what happens is it is a polymer base and we take the piece and print it. So you can run it through a inkjet printer, no laser printers, only an inkjet printer. And then it creates a piece. So this has our wonderful doll faces that we're using. And we will, um, then you take it and you're going to cut it and it's going to transfer. So transfer means that you're going to take the ink off of a substrate, which is transfer artist paper, and you are going to transfer it onto another substrate, muslin. Okay. So I am going to hope my heat, my iron is hot. This is, give me a minute, because I know the safest thing for the house is an automatic shutoff, but the worst thing for me is an automatic shutoff. All right, so these faces on printed on tap are part of our kit. So see, there's lots to go over today. So here I'm going to take this, and I've cut her out, and this is transfer artist paper. You can see this is it. the white is where you're going to print it. And I am going to just trim her. Because it's polymer, she, you're going to have, um, you are changing the hand of the fabric. All right, and I got my handy little purple thing, um, which if you don't have one of these, I think every studio needs one of those. Okay. So, I'm going to use a, a goddess sheet. I have a piece of muslin because I prefer to work small and transfer it to my finished product. So, a lot of times if you watch me work in journals and things like that, you'll see me make these little um, motifs or what does Margot Duke call them? Um, little pieces and then I incorporate them into my dolls. I tend to do that. So this iron needs to be very hot. Tap, it's, this is no, um, sorry, that's the iron. Um, we kind of abuse our irons here. They, um, very hot, no steam. And there is no steam, but I don't know what it's doing now. It's off, but. So the other thing you have to watch is when these holes are on your iron, yes, it is a grubby iron. Um, you need to move it around. I, it was not doing this five minutes ago. <laughs> so um, I can see and check. So does it come up easy? You see, you can see. There's still some ink on the tap. Here's the tap, here's the fabric. Okay, so it's not ready yet. Part of what I like about tap is that it's not a perfect transfer. It kind of has that little vintagey feel to it. Um, I use a lot of direct print onto cotton lawn, so this allows me to give it a little bit more of a, a primitive look. So. This takes practice. I can't tell you that, you know, 10 seconds, one minute, it just takes practice. And, um, but I would say 99% of the time, you are gonna get a good transfer. Two minutes, 
two minutes on fabric. See, and it peels up. All right, so Sharon just said that Leslie Riley, the expert, recommends two minutes on fabric. That would mean I'd have to, to count to two minutes. <laughs> All right, but you can see this is it's great. It looks pretty good. Now, this is my fabric, and it meets my polymer here. So you have changed the, the hand, but and you can stitch through it, no problem. You can glue it. You can use um, gel medium, all kinds of things. All right, so one of the ways, I think there's two different ways of doing dolls, and I'll try to show you. So the first, the way I made my dolls was I had actually a piece of muslin that I used, and then I just kind of added fabrics to her. So I would um, maybe add some printed here. I can sew it by hand, I can sew it with a machine, but what this does, and I actually did sew it with a machine when I did mine. Um, but what this allows you to do is work flat, okay? So let me show you. Here's my doll. So this is one of the dolls that is um, up for uh, grabs. So I have this, and this is actually sewn down by machine. I worked it flat, I layered them, and I sewed it down. This pace, so it went, I did put my face on her, like I did with this one, where I put it directly onto the muslin, and then I layered these trims that I have. Um, you can get them in our hand-dyed collage packs, have things like that. So it was all white, and then I wanted to get it a little bit darker to go with this, so I just painted her, so she's good. But this was working flat, all right? Um, this was the same way. She was actually an entire body that I did in transfer artist paper, so I didn't need to paint, but I worked on her flat. And then you can see I stitched the outside. So I did outside stitching, I didn't flip and turn. So um, I just thought this was easier. I didn't think it took away from the, pro the uh, doll. And then, I sewed, I did sew this lace on after I had stuffed her. The other way I do it is um, I will also stuff from a slit in the back. Here's my slit, sorry, I'm jumping between dolls. So I, I sewed her together, I slid her back rather than having something at the end, and I do this all the time, whether it's mini quilts or anything, and then I uh, put a piece of Misty Fuse on a piece of fabric and I hid it. So that's normally how I stuff them. So I worked mine flat. Does that make sense? Everybody see? All right. So the other thing that we did today is that we created some little mini <coughs> kits for you. They are also up on the website. It's, um, I would say that you're going to have things that you want to add from your stash, but we gave you a base piece of fabric. We gave you a piece of muslin, but the best and most valuable part of it is we're going to print all of these images on one sheet of transfer artist paper and that's included in the kit okay so the kit also has some beads few small buttons and then this is how I hang my dolls as I just stitch them and they will have a lace printed piece of fabric a couple of sheets some um, a little pieces, little scraps, because I know you still have scraps. Uh, ribbon. 
There's your muslin and there's a printed piece. So this is the blue uh, cool kit. So how do I use that? Well, as I said, you can sew her flat and stitch her on. Um, you know, we can, you can do these type of things. And honestly, I probably would do this by machine at home and, um, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to kind of cover her. I don't really have a plan. I'm not sweating the details. Because really, um, it's just supposed to be fun. Maybe I want to add some leaf because we gave you some leaf ribbon. Maybe this piece was the end of the thing. So you have that. Now, Leslie talks about glue. Absolutely, you can use glue. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive glue. It can be whatever you have. I don't think a glue stick's gonna hold, but if you wanna use a glue stick and then add um, some stitching onto it afterwards, that, that'll work. Glue sticks will always hold things into place. All right, so the other way that, that some of the dolls were created was they were, um, so what I did was took the two sides together. I stitched it all the way around, all right? And then this is what I'm talking about when I say I slit the back to stuff it. You just, you gotta make sure you get your both sides. And then that's how I'll, I would stuff her, okay? Um, and then I don't have, you always get something uneven. See, here she is, she's stuffed. And for a doll, I really wanted to make sure I pack it. So you do get some stuffing in the kit as well, but you wanna make sure that she's stuffed. Sometimes I use cotton balls if I don't have something. So here she's gonna go on here and maybe I would use a little bit of glue. But right now, probably would glue her. Sorry, Kyle. See how easy it is to sew through this tap? This is just a Milner's needle. Um, we use tulip, very, very um, sharp. So um, you can stitch her on, you can glue her on, any of that stuff works. So then maybe what I would do would be to wrap her. You know, it's pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, This is gonna be, you're gonna definitely get a little bit of ribbon. I save, you know, this is all, eh, maybe we would go down this way here. So it's just very, very simple. And we're gonna just give you enough to get started. And there are all kinds of other things that you can add. So we have, these miscellaneous ribbons. It's a bundle of miscellaneous ribbons. This is on the website, it's $9.99. You know we have lots and lots of bead mixes. That's something that we have as well. Those are all available there. Silk ribbons, we have silk ribbons in different sizes. So if you took a silk ribbon, you know, she can get wrapped in silk. I tend to focus on the front because I know I'm gonna hang them, but not everybody hangs your dolls. You might have them sitting somewhere or somebody can pick them up and pet them and, and look at them. Um, lots of Indian trims. So these are pieces, 11 inch pieces. There's all kinds of little trim that's in there from India. 
This is Indian trim as well. This is all on the website. We have collage packs. So there's a large assortment of color of collage packs that work. And then we have, um, this is Thailand. So she could make, you make a great doll. She actually kind of goes with this. Ribbon that are leaves. You know, this is, we sell thousands and thousands of yards of that. Um, we also have some pre-cuts. So this is also, if you make your doll out of Indian fabric, we have yardage as well as these pre-cuts. You can stamp your fabric, paper. So these are a lot of the products that we get from India that are supportive. Uh, also some journals are in there too. So that, what questions do you have about making a doll? Okay. Yeah, no. Pretty good. Okay. So, let me tell you, we we'll just review cuz now I've got them all mixed up here, but um this is kind of a sample of of the kit here. So, here's the blue fabric. Here's your muslin. This we just happened to find a piece of um lace and they're all different. Every kit is different. Um, but we can tell you that it's kind of in these shades. A lot of this is sun printed, beautiful sun printed fabrics here. Then you're going to get a little, little tiny pack of some buttons, some um, clear beads, a little bit of thread if you want it, and stuffing, and the transfer artist paper with the faces on it. Any questions about the kit? The kit is online. It's normally priced $25, but for our Facebook Live group, we are charging $19.99. I have a question. Is half washable? Yes. Someone also wants to know how you get all the faces from individual photos on one sheet of print. Um, okay. It's a That's software a, question. Oh, it's a sharing question. Sharing. Well, so <laughs> how I do it before is you can use Microsoft Word or Word doc. I, I happen to have a PC. I gave up my Mac a long, long, long time ago. So I actually collect um, cabinet cards. That's what it is. Yeah, I know. I collect a lot of stuff. But I have a lot of cabinet cards. So I like to scan them. And so I can actually make them smaller, reduce them, but pretty much you scan them, you import them into a Microsoft Word doc, you can resize them to what you want, and um, you might wanna make sure that you have Google available for questions, because the first couple of times it's really kind of frustrating. Um, Sharon did this one in Photoshop, so if you have access to Photoshop, that's a whole different thing. So, but yeah, <laughs> it takes a little bit of practice, but if I can do it, you can do it. Joy's asking to just review the tap process. Okay, review the tap process. Okay, you, we, we sell it like this. So take a pack, give five sheets. I have, um, when it comes out of the pack, there is a white side and there is a side that has printing on it that says transfer artist paper. You're gonna print on the white side. So however your printer works, that's the side you wanna print on. And I can tell you, I have printed it on the wrong side and I've turned it around and I've printed it on the right side and not thrown the piece out. Um, I didn't have any ink come off of the back side or anything. All right, then you're gonna cut your picture out. And usually I trim it because if I, all right, so here's this. If I put this down like this, I'm gonna have polymer in this whole area. I can trim it, it doesn't matter, but sometimes it does matter. But that's what happens is anywhere there. So normally I trim it down to just the picture. Then you put it face down on the substrate you want to print on. 
I use fabric. I, um, and I put it in between a goddess sheet, top and bottom. So I've got a sheet, I have muslin, I have my transfer artist paper, I have got a sheet on top of it. Heat it, Leslie Riley says two minutes. I know it has to be really high heat. So two minutes moving it, you wanna make sure your, your picture doesn't slide, but you wanna move it around so that you have as much even heat as you can. And then you're gonna peel it, make sure that you can check it and see that all of the ink has transferred. And then once, if it doesn't, you heat it again. And when that's done, you peel it back, take it off. Did that answer your question? Also, what are cabinet cards? Cabinet cards, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. No, cabinet okay. cards are old cards that are look kind of like large playing cards, vintage, old. Um, and they're just fun. They're a lot. We we have some of them in the store. So it's it's how pictures were taken in the early days. So they're lots of fun. What um, what other questions do we have? Everybody clear on what the kit is? There's a couple of different options. They are online, and you can purchase them. So what's left is let's look at the dolls. because we're asking for your help here um, to raise some money. So, uh, someone just asked if this was hand sewed. Um, I did machine stitching. So this one has machine stitching around the edge here. Okay. This happens to be machine, but this one is hand stitched. I use size 12 sewing thread so you can see her hand stitched. You can do this by hand, you can do this by machine, whatever your preference is. You can do it with glue and, and no needle. Um, it's definitely possible. Okay, so I showed you Jane. And I showed you, this is Sheba. So these are both the dolls that I made. And those are available to um, enter for the drawing. And then we have some fabulous ones. This one, Sharon did. Now this, she used a really interesting um, process. So let's see, where did it go? Here it is. All right. So see this, she colored this with gelatos, then transferred it to the fabric. So we'll try to give you a little uh, quick clip on that to show you. It's very easy. A lot of times you can um, take tap and create original artwork on it, and it's going to absorb that paint or ink or, and transfer it with it. So that was a really cool technique. This one is Chris's. And look at her, she's got buttons. Chris and Sharon kind of worked in, a, in the round, in the solid. So this is painter's threads, eyelash, hand dyed silks, beautiful face. Her halo is a button. So she's beautiful. They're all beautiful. This is Sharon's mermaid. You can see she changed the bottom of the doll to have her, her fish, which I just think is fabulously fun. See her tail? And then our last doll is also by Chris. She's loving that uh, painter's thread eyelash. It's really pretty fun. And the uh, face is transfer artist paper and she wrapped. There's fabric beads. She's kept some stuff in place with some French knots, which she loves. 
and then you can see she used a hand dyed doily. So these are the fabulous dolls that anyone who enters has the opportunity to win and help a good cause. We do have additional information about Transfer Artist Paper on our YouTube channel, Artistic Artifacts YouTube. We are, um, uh, so, you know, we, we actually did the whole process again there, if you have any questions. And I know that Leslie Riley has tutorials, always the ever the teacher, very willing to share information about her product as well. We do have the book and we do have the transfer artist paper in stock, ready to go, as well as the fabulous doll kits to get you going. Um, what questions do you have? My glasses? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're a little far down. You're, only half your eyes are. I'll take them off. My dollar store glasses. All right. No questions. No so questions. Far. Everybody's good. Well, I, I hope that you're feeling safer. What? Somebody just laughed. Someone. Kyle just laughed. <laughs> so, uh, someone was calling out your in indigo fingers, Linda oh, Cooper. Linda Cooper, yes. Yeah. Die class yesterday. <laughs> we had indigo yesterday, and um, so this is what's left of it. So, yes. I wore gloves, Linda, <laughs> and I still got this. <laughs> but, um, yes, we are doing some classes that we can hold outside. And we're doing indigo and our procyon dyeing. We um, are still trying to figure out what the new normal here is at the store. And we appreciate your patience and we appreciate your support. And the community, Artistic Artifacts Creative Minds community is absolutely fantastic. So please participate. Please let us know what's going on. Um, what you're doing, what you're working on, Artistic Artifacts Creative Minds is a group for people um, to share ideas, show us what you're doing with the products that you're buying, ask questions and interact there, as well as the Facebook Artistic Artifacts. And just so you have a heads up, um, look for a special email, not our Wednesday email, it's going to be a special email about some 4th of July celebration. That's all I'm going to tell you about it now. So have a fantastic day. Be creative. Be kind to yourself. And we look forward to seeing you, however that is, in the future.